Sometimes animals are so clever that it's frightening. This monkey has a sharpened rock in his hand and a clear escape plan in its head. <laughs> Stop. Warning, if your parents are always nagging about the mess in your room, don't show them this video. Because in another Chinese zoo, a chimpanzee, after watching people for a long time, started cleaning its own enclosure. I don't know if it understands the connection between a broom and cleanliness, but scientists believe the intelligence of these primates is about the same as a three or four year old child. So anything's possible. This video was filmed at China's Zhengzhou Zoo, and it looks like the real Planet of the Apes will start from there. A little white-faced capuchin purposely sharpened a rock, then hit the glass with it. Coincidence? No, the animal was frightened, but immediately returned to check what it had accomplished. Maybe a few more blows would have shattered the hardened glass. This capuchin, however, has always been different from his kin. It's the only one who knows how to crack walnuts with things at hand. The other capuchins can't do that. But before the animal has never attempted to channel its monkey genius onto the glass. After what happened, all the capuchin stones were taken away, including the sharpened weapon. The glass was replaced and patrolling was stepped up. Try the sewers, buddy. A family watching lions from the supposed safety of their car at a safari park in South Africa learned that you should always lock your doors, even if you don't think the animals can open it. I know. <laughs> Lock the door. Fortunately, the passengers managed to close the door again and this time lock it. Then you can hear one of them say, Oh my gosh, I didn't know they could do that. Oh my gosh, I didn't know they could do that. Me too, sis. Me too. In one of the previous videos, I told you that a turtle shell is both a reliable protection and a natural trap, which may well cost the animal its life. Rolled over on its back, a large turtle risks not getting up on its feet and could die from heat or because of hungry predators. It's completely defenseless. But there's still a chance for salvation if other turtles suddenly come to the rescue. Usually they don't do anything like that because they turn over their rivals while fighting for the female. Yet if one turtle's in distress, the others know exactly how to help it. Turtles are much smarter than they seem at first glance. If you've ever come across raccoons, then you know they are such crooks. They'll get everywhere they want and steal whatever they want, even things that aren't edible at all. Why? Because raccoons are interested. They'll even steal food right out of a cat's bowl, even when all three owners are around. You know, I think every raccoon is a bit of a honey badger at heart. It's hungry and doesn't care about anything. By the way, mind you, it didn't just steal the food, it washed its paws before it did it. Hey boy, you're supposed to do that for at least 20 seconds. Every mother knows exactly how to entertain her baby, even if that mom is a goat. In fact, goats are a lot smarter than you think. This one, for example, had no trouble setting up a carousel for the baby. Carousel? Really? Yeah, I guess so. This level of judiciousness is not only surprising, but also a little alarming. What if all animals really do understand a lot more than we think they do? Take a closer look at your cat. What if it has something to hide? Of all the animals in existence today, the easiest to believe is the genius of some chimpanzees. After all, they are our closest relatives. Who, if not them, would show wonders of intelligence and stand up to drones? A 23-year-old chimpanzee, Tushi, from the Dutch Zoo showed a real talent for air defense. She climbed a tree, beckoned a quadcopter that was filming the zoo's inhabitants on video, and shot it down with a stick. Because why is it flying here? Tushi saw that the drone was harmless and inedible and lost interest and left. Meanwhile, the gadget, which cost almost $2,500, was hopelessly ruined. But this didn't seem to upset the zoo representatives. They didn't even seem to be surprised. Everland Resort is an amusement park located in the South Korean city of Yongin. Most people come here for the rides. But Everland also has a zoo and a water park. And bears. Bears that just adore tourists. <laughs> No, not like that. Anyway, so far no one's been hurt, but the animals know exactly how to behave in order to get a treat. Everything is simple. You stand on your hind legs and behave in a very human way. You can wave or hug your companion. Any improvisation in exchange for a tasty treat is good. Officials said that the bears have learned to ask for food every time they see a bus with people, and apparently they did it without prompting. At first, I thought these crows just didn't understand what was going on. Like, hey, why do I keep moving out? Hey, 
Then it became clear. The birds are perfectly aware that every time they land on the round roof, look over there, they're deliberately getting as close as possible to the point of no return so they can then roll off with the first snow. And again to land not on some flat surface, but where they just fell from. But let's be honest, everyone loves slides. A German Shepherd named Linda is known in Izmir, Turkey for her daily visits to the local car wash for relaxing water treatments. The best spa treatments involve giant brushes. Can any man scratch your back that way? Play fetch with a dog? Well, better yet, with a beluga whale. That's crazy, yeah. In November 2019, these sailors from a research vessel, Gemini Craft, took a ball with them and decided to play with a whale. The crew members threw the ball into the water and the sea animal caught it and brought it back every single time. It's as if it understood the concept of the game. In fact, this behavior, which is a characteristic of a dog, is sometimes found in beluga whales as well. They're curious, playful, and love contact with humans. Two tons of friendliness. And this video was already taken at the Tokyo Zoo, and one of the local orangutans wipes his face with a towel exactly like a human. And not just wipes it, but dips the towel in water, squeezes it, then puts it on his face to refresh himself. That summer was really hot. In my opinion, after all the previous monkey videos, the question of where exactly our ancestors came from is no longer relevant. But I do have one more piece of evidence, and his name is Ambam. Ambam can walk on his hind legs. Now, okay, to be fair, all gorillas and chimpanzees know how to do this, but they don't usually do bipedal walks. For them, it's just uncomfortable from an anatomical standpoint, but not for Ambam. Apparently, his father also walked a lot on two legs, like he lived as a pet for a while. By copying people, he learned to be bipedal, and Ambam, in turn, was simply copying his father's behavior. Or it could just be a weird personality quirk that he inherited genetically. If cats really do have nine lives, then Gizmo was willing to sacrifice one of them to save her people, or maybe she really did lend it to her owner. Ron Perkins, Gizmo's owner, was sleeping peacefully on the couch when the cat suddenly put her paws on the pillow and began meowing, loudly, persistently, with no intention of stopping. When Ron opened his eyes, he realized that the house was full of smoke and oven mitt had caught fire. And her head right by my ear just meowing. She would not stop. Well, when I opened my eyes, I realized the house was full of smoke. He was able to put out the small fire before it could spread beyond the kitchen, and none of the five occupants of the house were hurt. All thanks to Gizmo. Cat definitely saved my life. So next time someone says that all cats are evil, think of her, a real savior of her people. Dogs are just amazing creatures. Sometimes they're funny, sometimes they're menacing, and sometimes dogs are just fluffy angels guarding their owners. The Brousseau family had already gone to bed when their dog Duke, who was adopted from a shelter almost six years ago, suddenly jumped on the bed and started shaking uncontrollably. The behavior immediately woke the couple up. Duke had always been an incredibly obedient and calm dog and had never done anything like that. Then the Brousseaus decided to check on their nine-week-old daughter's well-being, and they weren't mistaken. She wasn't breathing. The parents immediately called the ambulance, and soon paramedics revived her. If it hadn't been for Duke, this story probably would have ended tragically. Many people love birds, but they very rarely reciprocate. But one girl from Seattle is luckier than others. She feeds crows in her garden, and they bring her gifts in return. Metal, plastic, buttons. A lot of things. Gabby Mann's friendship with birds began with the girl's habit of sharing her school lunch. Her parents didn't mind, and soon Gabby started feeding the crows every day. Every morning, she changes the water in the bird bath outside her house and puts peanuts into the feeders. Gabby also throws handfuls of dog food into the grass. As she works, the crows gather on the telephone wires and loudly greet their feeder. In exchange for food, the birds bring shiny trinkets, earrings, a metal loop, a smooth stone. Sometimes, however, the gifts turn out to be quite different. Crows can leave a rusty bolt, a half-decayed claw of a crab, a paperclip, a button, and once they even brought a cover from a camera lens which Gabby's mother had lost. Not only did they get it back, they also took the time to rinse the cover in water. That's because crows, like many other animals, are constantly watching us and adopting certain habits. Take a closer look and you'll notice it too. See you later.